Which kind of zombie that you built in this time? Amigos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos. Tenemos el close-up a Army of the Dead. Las entrevistas con el director y el elenco de esta nueva película de zombies que llegará a Netflix en los próximos días. Sí, señoras y señores. Madrazos, balazos, sangre, zombies, acción. Este es el especial de Army of the Dead. Hello, girls. How are you? Hi. Hi. Guys, don't, don't trust this guy. Don't trust this guy. You know him? <laughs> Um, Anna, haz, hazme, que, hazme quedar bien, dile que soy lo máximo a tus amigas, por favor. <laughs> Zack Snyder, how are you? Hey man, how you doing? Batista, how are you, man? Now you are killing zombies. Yeah, man. <laughs> yep. Step away from the sci-fi for a minute, and now I'm uh, killing zombies. <laughs> Mr. Ward, how would you like to make 50 million dollars? I'm very excited about the movie because it's uh, an, uh, the, new, the, the beginning of a whole new universe. I know that you have a lot of plans uh, w with these uh, zombies. Can you uh, tell me more about it? Yeah, um, well, you have Army of the Dead, um, which you'll see uh, any minute now. We did a, uh, a live action prequel uh, that Matias directed and shot. Uh, he's the safe cracker. And it tells the story of why he loves cracking safes and how he ended up in America. And that's like its own little movie. And then we also are doing an animated series um, that it tells the uh, story of the, um, the origins of the uh, zombie plague. Like what, where did it come from and what, is, what's, what, what happened in Area 51. There's $200 million in the vault beneath the strip. With a 32-hour window to get it out. Can you tell me uh, what do, does this uh, project means you as a as a action heroes? Well, I don't know if we're action hero, Alex, but uh, but it's pretty cool to be you know to be tough and, and and to have fun, and also it's great that there's so many you know female characters in 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 this movie, and they're very relevant and important. As, as the guys, so that's that's very refreshing. I don't know, Ella, what do you think? Yeah, it's fun, I agree. It, it's fun to see, you know, that the women can hold their own. They're not being rescued. They're not the girlfriends or the wives, which is kind of what we usually see in a lot of like, you know, action films. Um, but yeah, no, I agree. I think it's, it, I mean, these guys look amazing, especially Nora and Anna and Sam. They're ah, very badass. You are amazing, Ella. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny because my friends, uh, they, they saw the trailer for Army of the Dead and um, and they were like, oh, you look really badass in, in the trailer. Who would know that you, like, you would never be like the kind of, if there was a zombie apocalypse, you you would be dead after two seconds. <laughs> so like, well, thank you guys. We have seen a lot of movies, a lot of TV series, a lot of uh, uh, universe of uh, with, with this with these characters, with the zombies. Uh, how can you be fresh in this era, in this year, with this new movie? What's the difference between this one and the others? I mean, I think there's a lot of different layers, but I also think you know, with any other film, if you are if you're already working in a genre that's it's already established. I think it's just not going to work unless you have a story there. Because at the end of the day, you know, people want to watch a good story. They want to watch an interesting story. They want to be, you know, inspired in a certain way. Uh, so I think that is the first thing. You have to have a good story to go with the genre of film. But Zach, I, I, I always give him credit because he put it this way and I'm stealing it from him. But he said he's, he's deconstructing a genre, which I think in, in every which way he does because he takes the genre but he really almost he almost makes the genre an afterthought because it's very much a zombie film. But there's different layers of zombies when you take them, you know, these alpha make turn them into superhero zombies, and that's one layer. But then you also add in a heist layer. <laughs> that's a, then you also add in relationships and a strange relationships and redemption that at the end of the day just make the film entertaining. And I also think there's there's so many things going on in this film that's very much a roller coaster, which again I think it makes it more just interesting and entertaining because. If things, if films, you know, if they have one note and they get too monotonous, I think people lose interest in they, they just become boring. But I think yeah. when you take people on a roller coaster and keep them interested, you know, for an hour, two hours, and that, then you got a good film. I think, and you wrap up the film with a strong ending, it's just, you know, it's just a great time. 
So I don't think anybody's going to walk away from the after watching this film and feel like like disappointed. This is very much this is a solid, solid film, solid, solid story. It's interesting. It's a different. It's a new twist on the genre. I think people are going to be super excited about this film. Oh, shit! Which kind of zombie that you built in this time? I tried to make some new zombies um, that uh, you know we hadn't really seen before. So it was um, a challenge, of course, to kind of you know. Uh, take the genre that everyone really understands and kind of knows and then just kind of twist it and try and like evolve it into something into something new find the safe this should be a simple in and out you have been waiting for 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 this movie for these moments a, yeah. a lot of time right how did yeah. you feel to watch your your work that, that you did two years ago and now you can share with the with the world exciting it is very you know it is very exciting thinking that we just did that we, sh we finished shooting that almost before the pandemic a few months before the pandemic and uh, i think the movie was going to be released a few months i think it was this past january or something and it moved a little bit but um um it is very exciting and, and also that the movie is going to have like a short release in movie theaters in the U.S. And that's exciting too. And also like it's going to be a worldwide premiere and, and Netflix is very excited about it. Um, so I think we're all happy just to bring a lot of entertainment. That's what we need right now, you know, just to forget yeah. about the reality a little bit and, and um, have mm -hmm. fun. And I think it's a, it's a fun, fun movie. That's heavy, brother. But I dig it. And how does, does this work? Because uh, uh, sometimes uh, everybody waits to see the success or the failure about the movie and then you go with the second part and the prequel, but you, you make it at the same time. How does that possible? Well, I mean, I think the cool thing about Netflix and um, just the experience I've had working with these guys is re they're really smart. Um, you know, and they really like, they really confident in the script and what we were going to try and do. And they just felt like it was a great, um, it's great to be able to like follow up with something right away. Um, you know, rather than maybe wait two years or whatever for another movie. It's not too late to go back. Yeah, and because you are in Netflix, you have a, a, a lot of freedom, right? You, you can put a, a lot of kind of, of situations and a, a, any style. No, no, it doesn't matter about the gore, about the nudity, about the language. Uh, do you have any experience with, with, uh, uh, with this freedom that, that you, that you uh, have to, to make the breaks? Yeah, I mean, look, you know, in the end, I want to make a great movie, you know, I think that's the most important thing. Like, I, I, I want to make a movie that people want to see. And, and frankly, I, I, you know, famously, I, I always go like, okay, I'm, I want to make sure I want to see the movie, you know? So, um, I, and uh, yeah, so it's really just about being able to, I trust the audience to, um, to be able to go pretty, you know, on the ride with me. And, um, you know, and I trust that they trust me that I'm going to give them something special. What the? One thing, one, one scene that I, that I, uh, very interesting, it's the, the one that you said about something about the, the realities, the alternative realities. Yeah. Is, is that a kind of Easter egg that, the, the, uh, a thing that we are going to, to watch in the future for for all these universes? I, man, that's a great question, and it, and it preps me for, you know, I don't know, future journalists who who might have your. It's a compliment when I say this. Your your zany brain that just went where it went, and that's a a great thing. And you're prepping me for them them asking the same thing. I'll, I'll give my answer. Obviously, it's the first time I've answered this. I imagine so. Again, to Matthias's great point, what he shot specifically, which is connected to the universe of that which Zach has started with uh, Army of the Dead is not necessarily showing zombies, but obviously, you know, uh, Matthias's character of Dieter is connected conduit bridge of sorts to that which we shot prior to the film he shot. But in the future, I think it would be an amazing thing to see the looping. That's what you're speaking of. I mean, we've seen Chris Nolan do it. 
with uh, Inception. Uh, Tenet speaks to it a bit, but we've never seen it as it pertains to zombies or not, at least zombies in this form. So, yeah, I'm speaking, obviously, to uh, Raul's character and, and, and Matias's character and saying, hey, what if it's this? What if it's that? Like, maybe they're just us and yada, yada. And I just think it was an amazing piece of... Uh, of, of dialogue that Zach and, and the other writers wrote. I love saying it. I remember reading that when I read the script and I thought, this is beautiful because I think that way. So for you to ask it, uh, I think it's cool that you're thinking in that same, <laughs> that same way. Yeah, and you and you choose a, a very interesting actors with with this movie because you have the Dave Batista and you put it in into the action that we know, but uh, with drama as well. And now you have Ana de la Reguera that is one of the biggest stars in Mexico. She did an amazing job in the movie, and you know, and I feel like the chemistry between um, Dave and Anna is amazing. You're right, I, I, and, and Dave does an amazing job with this super dramatic role, you know, like, and I just think that, I think people, when people see, um, you know, Dave in this movie, they're going to realize that he's capable of a lot of, um, just about anything, you know, dramatically. They're not what you think they are. They're smarter. They're faster. They're organized. Yeah, of course you are a, a, an expert in action movies, but uh, in this, in this time, you uh, have a drama scenes as well, and you have the opportunity to to explore uh, other kind of uh, of uh, of acting that we used to watch you. And that's one of the things that I've I've been looking for, and that was one of the reasons I wanted to work with Zach because it, you know it's easy for a person who looks like myself and who comes from a professional wrestling background to get you know to get typecast. People look at me, they see me a certain way. They see me as an action guy and that's all they see me as. Yeah. Uh, which for me, it's very important that that not happen because I really want to pursue, you know, serious acting roles because I, I love acting and I want to, I want people to take me seriously as, as an actor. And I'm not be going to become a better actor unless I get, you know, good roles, you know, with, you know, different characters, different levels, you know, different levels of, of a character. Um, so anyway, so those are the characters I'm always searching for. And this was like just a, it's very fortunate coincidence with me, uh, for me, because I got to work with Zach. I got to play a character who's just, he's so layered. He's got all the emotional beats, but also is, you know, is a legit badass. <laughs> so I got to conquer, uh, you know, a lot in this film. Which is the best way to kill a zombie in, in this world? In, in the face, right? Or in the head? In the face, straight in, in, in the face. In the head, in the head with yes. a nice gun. Bueno muchachos, pues ya nada nos queda eh, esperar a que se estrene esta película y llegarán, como lo escucharon, varias eh, entregas más acerca de este mismo universo que creo que vale mucho la pena por el nivel de entretenimiento que tiene. Mientras tanto, vámonos que aquí espantan. Yo soy Alex Montiel, pasen a chido. Suscríbanse, síganme en las redes sociales y nos vemos en el cine. Bye.